Today's video is sponsored by FollowPod, the AirTag dog collar that lets you track your dog in style. Hey, it's Chris. Finally got my AirTags. They came a little bit later because I had them engraved. But in this video, I'm excited to unbox them, react, give you my first impressions. But first, we're gonna go back to the future. And I'm gonna tell you about some of the tests that I ran, give you those results first, and then we'll come back and finish the unboxing. Take it away, future Chris. All right, future Chris here. See the hat, no lights in the back. That's how you know it's future Chris. I've done some testing and I'm pretty impressed. The first thing that I wanted to test was to see how long it would take to find a lost air tag in a downtown situation. So I stuck all of my Apple gear in airplane mode, proceeded to stash the air tag out of the way where nobody would see it. And then I went on my way thinking it would be like 20 minutes at least until someone picked it up. Why 20 minutes? Well, I saw that Max Tech video where he did a similar test and it took like 19 minutes for someone to spot that air tag. But that's not what happened at all. It took two minutes or so for somebody to spot my air tag. And when I say someone spotted the air tag, what I mean is someone with an iPhone or an Apple device walked past where that air tag was stashed. There was an anonymous ping that happened between the air tag and their Apple device, and I got an alert. The lesson being that Apple's Find My Mesh network is deep. There's so many Apple devices walking around, it's great. Because everyone with an iPhone walking around is just a walking sensor that can help you find the thing that you lost. So for this first test, I can conclude that Wow, the Find My Network, the AirTag situation, it is effective, at least in a downtown area. The second thing that I wanted to test was the precision finding feature, which lets your phone tell you where to go if you're close enough to an AirTag in a park situation. Why a park? Well, I wanted to test out when you know kind of the general location of where you might have lost something, but not exactly where. Maybe this is a bad example, but you're on a picnic and you've lost your keys near the picnic table, okay? In this big open area, you know it's gotta be around there somewhere, but you're not sure exactly where. So in this case, it picked up when I was 16 feet away. Now, I've heard in other spots that people have gotten, you know, 20 to 40 foot connections. Obviously then, I also wanna test that precision finding in the home, in my studio space. I expected it to be pretty good but I was blown away with exactly how good it was. It definitely surpassed my expectations for how well it was implemented. For instance, at the bottom of the Find My app, when you're looking around, there's a flashlight icon in case you're looking in the dark. Okay, so much for my initial test. Let's have a quick word from today's sponsor and we'll get to the unboxing. Today's sponsor is Follopaw, the AirTag dog collar made from sustainable cork leather. Follopaw has two use cases for dogs. You can simply use it to track your dog with an AirTag, which is great for urban areas, but it can also function like a microchip with super power since iOS and Android devices can scan the NFC tag and contact the owner without the need to contact a vet like a traditional microchip would require. One awesome follow paw feature is the Fidlock, an ultra secure magnetic buckle that you can easily open and close with one hand. Follow paw is made in Europe. It features carbon offset shipping. It comes with a 100% satisfaction guarantee and a one euro donation is made to an animal shelter with every order. I've gone hands on and I can attest to the quality myself. Check it out using the link in the description. Thank you future Chris, welcome back to the past. To be honest, I'm really not sure what I'm gonna end up tracking with these other than my keys, because that's honestly the main use case that I can think of right now, but I haven't seen some crazy headlines. For instance, I saw somebody who mailed an AirTag to themselves so that they could track the route, which I have to admit was pretty creative. And you know what? It's funny thinking about the post office person asking, so do you want some extra tracking with that? I'm already seeing some stories of people drilling holes in these so that they can put a key ring on without any accessories, which I don't recommend. And I'm also seeing some x-rays that show just how small these are compared to a tile or a Samsung tracker. Ooh, nice little startup chime there. That's actually pretty cool. So when you unwrap the outer plastic, it's attached to that little plastic pull tab that keeps the battery from being able to complete a circuit and then turns things on. So actually the second that you get that plastic taken off, you have the pairing dialogue showing up on your iPhone. Okay, so before I get the rest of these unwrapped, let me just get this first one connected here. This one's got a C on it. That's the most personal. I guess that one is going to go on my keys. That took somewhere between five and 10 seconds. All right, and here's the dialogue box that we get along with this. Precision finding, play a sound, or get directions in maps. So these are the very basics of AirTags. Precision finding says when AirTags are nearby, an arrow will point you to its precise location. Another option is just to play a sound. So you can find your AirTag by having it alert you audibly to where it is. And then of course, if it's further away, then you can view your AirTag on a map 
and use your maps to navigate there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right up to the mic. I'm gonna hit play a sound. So that's what it sounds like. Now I've used Tile in the past and I have to say, I like this chiming, this chirping, this beeping better than what I had with Tile. All right, now this one just says tech. So maybe I'll just get this one set up with my camera. All right, here's a better view of what it's like when you pop this plastic out. We'll just make this one for luggage. Okay, so here are the four engraved air tags that I got. D-O-Y, T-E-K-K, -K, that's obvious, C for Chris. And at the end of this, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So at the end of the video, the air tag is gonna end up reviewing itself. I wanna give you guys a good look at the back here because obviously you've probably seen the reports of this metal surface getting pretty scratched up after not much usage at all. And I mean, I can already tell it's a very fingerprinty surface as well. It's a little weird on the one hand if it gets scratched up because Apple meant for these to go on your keychain and you know it's gonna rattle around in your pocket or your bag or something and get messed up. On the one hand, it's kind of a head scratcher. On the other hand, it doesn't really matter to me. I actually did think of a good use case for this. I'm gonna track my new AirPods Max leather case from Blackbrook, which is gonna come in really useful when my AirPods Max are out of battery or for traveling or whatnot. Now, I gotta tell you guys, I have been seeking out the coolest, most unique, most interesting AirTag accessories beyond just the regular old Apple accessories and, and the obvious accessories that came out right at launch. So I put in a bunch of pre-orders and orders and if you wanna see me try these out with all the coolest accessories, then make sure you get yourself subscribed because that will be coming up soon. In the meantime, I did pick up the official leather Apple keyring and the Belkin cheaper version which I think is made out of plastic. I do wish that this keyring came in black leather. So there we go, that's what that looks like. You know, it's only an okay look for me. I know some people really like it, but for me, it's not really my style. I will say though, this is a really nice, hefty, solid key ring there. It looks like it's gonna be real easy to get your keys on and off. Okay, here's the Belkin. Uh, I can tell you it definitely feels really cheap and plasticky right off the bat. All right, so let's get this assembled. You can have the DLY air tag. There's our two options there, the Belkin and the Apple. In some ways, honestly, I kind of prefer this Belkin. I know it's cheap, I know it's plastic, but it's more compact, it's less dangly. So I'm not sure which one you guys feel like you prefer. So I got an AirPods case here. This is the AirPods Pro case and I just want to bring that out. That's something that can go with your everyday carry just to kind of show you how this lines up, how it compares to something else that you might stick in your pocket. Now, it's funny. I already made a video talking about who I thought should buy these, who shouldn't buy these. So you can go back and watch that video if you want. But you know, I think people are already getting really creative with different ways to use these beyond just the obvious use cases. For instance, somebody was out there saying, hey, you could make like a dead drop, spy style. You could do a digital scavenger hunt with your kids if you had a lot of extra money to burn or if you just had these laying around anyways. So you can get creative and do some interesting things here. I've seen people talk about tracking their drones. That's actually a really good use case. But for me personally, I know that I'm gonna get the most mileage just tracking stuff probably around the studio, around the house, the office. But I think for me, it's gonna be the use cases that don't occur all that frequently that may end up being the biggest lifesaver. So let me give you a for instance. One time I was on a road trip and I was traveling in between states and I thought for sure that I had left my keys at a rest stop a whole state away. So I got home, couldn't find my keys. We had driven several hours by this point, but had I had one of these, it would have saved me a lot of time and trouble because I would have realized with that precision tracking, it was actually hiding in a crazy little nook and cranny that it, I never would have been able to discover with just a flashlight underneath my car seat. It was with me the whole time. So for me, these are almost more like an insurance policy when maybe that one time every year I leave my camera bag at the coffee shop or something. For those moments when it actually really matters, not when I just lose something around the house. Or my wallet, it'd be really nice to put these in a wallet. Let me just address that. I'll, I've tweeted out, you know, there's gotta be somebody working on an AirTag enabled wallet. What I mean by that is, I have a really minimal wallet. This is not gonna fit in my really minimal wallet. Because while this is physically smaller than a tile, or than a Samsung tracker, I still feel like I'd end up with a Costanza wallet with this inside, because I am used to such a minimal wallet footprint. All right, I'm heading out to do some testing. By this point, you guys have already seen the results and how that went. But thanks for hanging out. Like I said, I have tons of accessories coming for these, the most interesting, unique, thoughtful things I could find beyond just what you would expect. So get yourself subscribed if you wanna see that, and I will catch you in the next video. Later.